All right, I got you. So the easy two-part answer is the British did it first and American Congress always messes up stuff. So like the reason we call it soccer instead of football, it is that the British did something and then they brought it to us and we just kept it. So Fahrenheit was introduced to the British Royal Society in 1724. And the British Empire adopted this and then spread it through all of their colonies, including us. About 20 years later, in 1742, Celsius was invented. And then in 1790, Celsius was added to the metric system. But here's the really interesting part. The British didn't stop using Fahrenheit until 1962, meaning the British have only been using Celsius for its weather forecast for about 59 years. To put that into perspective, my dad is about to turn 62. And then it wasn't until 1965 that Britain started switching fully over to the metric system. And then many places that Britain had brought Fahrenheit and the imperial system to started to switch, except for us until 1975. See, America tried to switch to Celsius and the metric system in 1975 by passing the 1975 Metric Conversion Act. This was simply an act by Congress attempting to move us from the imperial and Fahrenheit to the metric and Celsius system. But like normal things with Congress, they messed up. They made it voluntary. This doomed it to fail because of the huge amounts of backlash of people having to learn a new system or having to learn how to convert from one system to another till they got the hang of it. Motorist organizations complained about speed being listed in kilometers instead of miles on the highway. Organized labor unions even pushed back, stating that its members would have to be retrained in their trade. Later in 1982, Ronald Reagan dismantled the American Metric Board. And that's one of the reasons we remain a country that uses the imperial system and Fahrenheit instead of switching over. Now, one of the most common arguments for staying in Fahrenheit is people talk about the different ranges within the two systems. A common example used is the difference between 70 and 71 degrees Fahrenheit versus the difference between 20 and 21 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit lovers claim that this is a more accurate system because how the body feels 70 to 71 Fahrenheit versus how the body feels 20 to 21 degrees Celsius. When in reality, it's, they don't know that you can have decimals within Celsius, such as 20.1 degrees Celsius. Maybe one day as a country will switch, but I doubt it will ever be voluntary. It would have to be a mandate, and of course, as we've seen with recent mandates, there's going to be a lot of backlash.